Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of He My Shorts. Before we get started here, I just want to throw some love out there to Johnny and Tommy Scoville and Mama Scoville and all the Scoville family and the whole Chase the Heat family. Um, Papa Scoville passed away this last weekend, just yesterday on Sunday, and uh, obviously he meant the world to Johnny and Tommy and to the entire Chase the Heat family. Um, there's nothing really that I can say about that other than he seemed to be a great man and he seemed to be very proud of his boys. So I just wanted to send some love out and send some, send some well wishes and some strength to the family. Um, I can't imagine what this is like for you, but, um, he wouldn't want us to dwell on this. He would want us to keep going just as Johnny has said. Um, he wouldn't want us to take a day off. Um, so I'm here with another review. Um, this is another product from Pepper North in Canada. This is their hot honey called Straight Jacket. This is, um, I guess a product that they had released years ago and they had discontinued it and I guess due to popular demand brought it back and I was very excited about that because I had missed out on it altogether the first time. So let me read you a little write up on the label here. Pepper North brings back a product from their past with straight jacket hot honey. While excavating ancient Egyptian tombs, archaeologists have found pots of honey thousands of years old, an unmistakable testament to the eternal shelf life of one of nature's greatest bounties. Made with sustainably sourced wildflower honey, perfectly ripened chili peppers, and a splash of tangy vinegar, this medium heat condiment can be enjoyed by all. Try it on pizza, chicken wings, and tenders, charcuterie boards, bagels with cream cheese, in a cocktail, on ice cream, and anywhere else that you need a drizzle of sweet heat. Excellent. Here's the ingredients. Wildflower honey, red chilies, and vinegar. Store room temperature. As a natural product, honey may crystallize over time. However, it does not expire. Made in Ontario, Canada. Okay. Well, there's not really much to check out as far as consistency goes. It's it's honey. It's very thick. Um, the color of it, it has definitely has a slight reddish haze to, uh, compared to regular honey. Um, a little bit of crystallizing going on at the bottom there, which is totally normal. That's just what honey does. You can actually see... Yeah. You can actually see a chili pepper. Yeah, you can kind of pick that up right there, floating in there. Oh yeah, there you go. I don't know what kind of chili pepper it is. But let's open it up. Um, I'm guessing by the flower, so it shows a little chamomile looking flower there, so this must be chamomile honey. I've actually gone through this this stuff. I've had this this product before. I've probably gone through three three bottles of it. It's I know it's delicious. Mm, it smells, yeah, it smells wildflower. It smells, it smells like chamomile, actually. And honey. I'm not picking up any, any spice in the scent at all. It's got a squeeze top, which is, you know, appropriate for honey. And I will not be tainting my honey. I will be using my Chase the Heat tasting spoon. Okay. Let's give it a drizzle. Oh, that flow is actually nicer than I was expecting. Look at that color. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you can't really see it too well. I think... I'm about eight feet away from the camera here, so you can't pick up all the detail. I'm still learning this stuff. Thought I put my 
mustache in there. That was a close one. Can't really pick up any scent whatsoever from it on the spoon there. Mmm. stuff is so good. It's some of the best honey I've ever had. And then that little kick from that mystery chili in there just wins me over. This is great. This would be so good on so many different things. I've already tried it out on quite a few things on ice cream, on pizza. waffles, peanut butter sandwiches, oatmeal, yogurt, it would be good on pancakes, I haven't had pancakes in quite a while, what else did they mention, they mentioned a couple other things, chicken wings, yeah, for sure, tenders, I think that's just boneless chicken wings, I don't really know, bagels with cream cheese, absolutely, definitely that. Um, let's talk about the heat. It's not very hot at all. It's not very spicy at all. For me, it's like a 1 or 2 out of 10. It does move my needle, but it's not, not spicy. Um, if you're new to chasing the heat, this could be this could be a 4, to f or, four or a 5 out of 10. Could be. 3 or 4, 4, 4 out of 5. They give it a 4 out of 10. Medium heat. Um, will I buy this again? Yes, I even have a backup bottle of this all already as well. And I'm probably going to doctor both of them up, to be honest, because I love the honey, but I desire a little bit more spice. So I will probably hide a couple more chili peppers in here. Maybe a, maybe a scorpion or a, or a reaper or something, or I'm not too sure. I have quite a few dried chilies from last year, so I'll have to go through that and find one that I think might, might be the most appropriate. I definitely recommend this stuff. This is delicious. Um, yeah, I don't think you can buy this on grocery stores as far as I know in, on, the, on the shelf. I think you have to buy it from peppernorth.com, which is a great way to buy their products. I have their, their line up here in front of me, um, their sauces and their powder and their hot honey here. I recommend all of them. Honestly, if you love hot sauces, I would recommend buying one of each one of them the first time. Maybe even buy two of these ones. It's tough to say. Um, they're all so good. But if you make an order from their website, orders over $50 in Canada will get a uh, free shipping within Canada. So that's a great deal in itself. Um, I highly recommend checking them out. They usually include stickers with their order. Um, apparently if you order through them enough times, you might even get a hoodie, I hear. Um, but yeah, I think you have to make quite a few orders before they'll just give you a hoodie, right? That's what I hear anyways. Um, but yeah, aside from that, definitely, yeah, go to, go to peppernorth.com, check out this straight jacket, honey, check out all their products. I've, uh, I've already reviewed, reviewed a few of them, actually. I've done these two. I put the fresh one, the sealed ones out again just because I uh, didn't want to leave them out of the fridge too long. Um, was kind of messing around in the room beforehand, so I didn't want to leave them out of the fridge. Anyways, uh, what else do we have going on? Friday night, I did another Tube of Terror with Johnny Scoville and David Martin, and I did succeed, of course. So now I have 14 points on the League of Fire. I'm climbing the ranks. I am, I think I'm on page two or three out on the uh, the Tube of Terror ladder leaderboard now, which is pretty exciting. I'm gonna keep climbing that one, see if I can get on that first page. That'd be exciting. Um, I had a blast doing that. However, Friday night, I had 
almost no sleep. I had the worst capsaicin cramps so far from any of the challenges or anything that I've done. I was, uh, I didn't sleep in bed, I slept on the floor, and I rolled around because that kind of seems to help when you have cap cramps to lay, lay on different sides and kind of keep mixing it up and sit it lay in different positions. I drank uh, little bits of milk here and there with a little bit of sweetener in it, that seems to help as well. And uh, all through the night, capsaicin cramps all night, terrible cramps. And even a little bit into the next day on Saturday, yeah, until till like one o'clock or something, like till the afternoon, I was hurting. But I also didn't eat dinner after I did, did the tubature. I realized that on, on like Sunday, I realized that I didn't even eat dinner. I did eat a lot beforehand. I ate spicy foods all day and, uh, and had a full stomach. But afterwards I should have capped it with more food and more, more water. But, uh, but that's okay, we learn. And I still had a blast, I wouldn't take it back. Um, as a matter of fact, I have two more tubes of terror sitting on the counter in the kitchen behind me. So I will be doing at least two more, probably more. I have uh, some other things on the way as well that I won't talk about too much right now because this isn't a Blazing Foods video, but I did just want to go over the, the news from the weekend. That's pretty exciting, uh, having climbed the, the leaderboards more on the League of Fire. Um, I meant to get videos out this weekend too, but it was just a very emotional weekend and I also had my mom's birthday this weekend, so, you know, spent, uh, phoned up there and spent some time with the family and, uh, yeah, had some, had some, some alone time and some recovery time and whatnot. Um, today I also got to hang out with my father and got to learn how to change out a hot water tank in my home. So I'm so grateful that he helped with that. Uh, our hot water tank was 16 years old, so it was just a, a, a bomb waiting to go off and spray water all over the place. That would have been terrible. That would have ruined our floor. So I'm so grateful that he, uh, that he helped us with that. Thanks, Dad, if you're watching this. I appreciate that. I love you. I love you, man. Um, other than that, not much to go, not much else going on. I will be most likely doing another tuba tear at the end of the month in another Zoom. I might do one in the meantime as well, or I'm not really sure yet. I haven't really decided. It's, uh, it's exciting stuff. I'm having a blast with it, but I don't, don't want to overdo it either. Well, I said that before actually in the previous video, and that's actually Johnny Scoville's, <laughs> one of his catchphrases, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. And that's kind of what we do, actually. We're eating the spiciest peppers on the planet, so I guess we are overdoing it. I'm just, you know, when I say that, I mean, I mean that I'm not going to hurt myself, actually. It's not going to hurt me. It's not putting me in physical danger. It's not hurting my health in any way. Um, eating peppers is good for you. And uh, it might suck sometimes. It hurts at night, but... Uh, but it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. I'm here and I'm making videos and I'm doing it again. So that's a, that's a testament to it right there. Um, not too much going on other than that. I think I will probably wrap this video up here. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell and click all notifications so you get all notifications and you won't miss anything. Um, leave a comment down below. Go get yourself some straight jacket hot honey from Pepper North. It is delicious. I highly recommend it. And all of the products from Pepper North, um, they're, they're great. And they got sweet stickers and stuff too. And great people, great, great products. Excellent. I can't say enough good about that company. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of this. And I will see you again soon. Love you all. Bye.